Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to continue our adventure through the Abbey. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did absolutely nothing. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So last time we found an NPC, he said he was going to Rosa Isabella Street, but okay. Um, looks like we have somebody at the Baron Swamp. I think it's that robot. Let's go ahead and go over there. Or I say robot. It's a puppet. Whatever. something about humans. If I make human friends someday, I'll tell you. You may not always be my only friend, but you'll always be my first friend. Cool, we got a quartz from him. If I make human friends someday, you may not... Let's go back to Hotel Krat. The toy? But how... The toy my parents made me. You've met him. Arlecchino. We had just watched one of my favorite films, I remember. I begged them to make me the warrior from it. If I hadn't, would my parents still be alive? Would we have been untouched by that murderous puppet? I've always blamed myself. <laughs> it's a hell of a burden for a child, that kind of guilt. So I hung on. I hung on to the Grand Covenant. I wanted to use it to keep people safe. You know, in many ways, I envy you. Your strength. Thank you for this. Talk about closure. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? You are here. Um, let's upgrade our electric coil. Oh, I have two of them. Well, then let's upgrade our Hasidic Crystal Spear. Cool. I'm going to use my storage real quick. Put this away. And then I'm just going to put this, the two dragon sword is really cool, but I don't know. I just, I'm not going to use it, unfortunately. Oh, we need to talk to somebody else. I think his butler. Might I have a moment, puppet of Geppetto? Ah, good. I was a bit concerned my voice wouldn't even reach you. 
It has been so very long since I spoke out of turn. You see, I too have been awakened. I have an ego, as Master Vanini would say. And I have been this way for some time. At least since Master Lorenzini was a child. He had no one else, you see. His parents. I'm sure you've heard of their terrible fate. And he had to see it all. But Master Lorenzini is stronger than most people suspect. A puppet was the killer. We both knew it. But if we had told the authorities, they might have removed me from the household as well. The young master would have been alone if I had been taken away. If only I could have saved them. Now I atone for that failure by thinking only of Master Vanini's prosperity and happiness. But even I did not realize how deeply he still held that trauma. How badly that murderous puppet had scarred his soul. You have set him free. I cannot thank you enough. I am not accustomed to sharing such thoughts or feelings. But when it involves Master Vanini, please accept this gift as it truly comes from the heart. My own. We will always roll out the red carpet for you at the house of Vanini. At the house of Vanini. Man, uh, Vanini kind of sounds like he's Batman. He's got a butler. <laughs> His parents got killed. Yeah, he's essentially uh, the lies of P's Batman. Let's go over to the Abbey Outer Wall. I forgot to use the quartz while I was in Hotel Crot. That's okay. We have time later. I'm sure. Okay, be careful for the traps, I think, right? Thought you were going to, uh... Yeah, no. Rosa Isabella Street. I can read memories of Ergo. Ergo is... It's the... I can't... Just repeat yourself, huh? Well, it's worth going over there. We met a new NPC. Says he wants to go to Rosa Isabella Street, but we'll see. Oh, that guy's back. Hey, bud. We're going to take this up. about that guy Let's actually start making some progress over here.
Please, nothing jump out at me. Hey, there's something down there. Sorry for jerking the camera around, everybody. Oh, there's a dude over there. Dude, a Reno. guys pretty annoying oh those guys are no no those things are annoying oh damn it I'm sorry I didn't mean it oh god they are everywhere oh my god where to go where to go Get out of here with that shenanigans. Dude. Not even going to bother with those guys. I just don't like fighting them. I don't think they're particularly that hard, but they're definitely not worth my time. My time is precious. guy ow oh yep back away because he does some dumb shit. <clears throat> the only reason I fought him is because of this right here. Oh, cool. A mechanical cryptic vessel. Means we're going to be finding something again. Oh, God! One of those things! Nope. 
Damn you. Oh my god, they're everywhere. I'm gonna die. All right, let's try this again. This time, let's get the attention of this jerkwad before aggroing that puppet. do that and we'll put on this Fuck you, puppet boy. Now, where did my ergo go? That is the real question. Started running for my life. There it is. I don't even know where that is. Can we jump across there? Oh, man. Guess not. Leave me alone. Let me out of here. I am really starting to despise this area. I'm just gonna say that. Do not like this place. Yeah, hop down. I don't even know where I'm going at this point. I'm so lost. Oh, look at this. Right here. Oh, no. That Pinocchio, Kiyokio puppet. Yeah, mess him up, dude. We're fighting. Good thing. No, no, don't you grab me. He grabbed me. Got a quartz from him.
Man, having a mix of puppets and those, I think they're called carcasses. I keep wanting to say uh, corpses, but I believe they're carcasses, or at least I think that's what they're called. There you are. You leading me to a trap. Balance crank. That guy's gonna burst out of here. Oh, look at that guy too. Oh, one of those guys. Ow. That guy was no joke. Did he drop anything? He did not. Yeah, I knew you were going to jump out. Seen that shit coming a mile away. Hopefully I open up another shortcut soon. Pretty sure there was a like a ladder or something that we could um, put down over by the stargazer. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but I was pretty sure. Oh, we just came up that ladder. We came from over there. Come on, Stargazer. So many different options. Does this take us by the stargazer? I think so. Let's just take a look. Yep. So I was right. Wasn't misremembering. Oh, no! I have died so much in this area. Where was that guy, by the way? Oh, up top there. Okay. Bastard. At least I got the item. Feel my pain. Oh, you suck. 
I wanted him to feel my pain of falling to his death, but I don't know. He got pretty lucky. Oh, fuck off with that disruption. Nope, no, 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 sir. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Looks like we need to start going this way. Oh, I see something hanging up top there. I don't want to be careful. I think that's the way to progress. Yeah, that's progression over there. Wanna fall down? Everything just is out to murder me. Red Fox Amulet. Motivity and Technique. No, oh, that makes me slightly heavy. No, I'm not. Um, I'm already slightly heavy, so that doesn't matter, I guess. Let's switch this out. There's an item over there. Ow. Get out of here with your nonsense. Let's repair our weapon a little bit. No. Oh, that was so close. I had to say some shit like, these guys aren't that hard. And then they just start kicking my ass. I think this game is sentient, man. It just knows. It's like, oh, John's having too easy of a time. We need to destroy his dreams. Being a master gamer. 
Let's go down here. Another full moonstone. Okay. Oh, wow. Yep. This is going to be awesome. <coughs> really? <gasps> Whoa. That was fucking terrifying. Another quartz. Okay, that turns off the trap. Thank Jeebus. How many quartz do we have? Four. And I really, really hope. Oh my god. Look at you, dude. Being a behemoth. Okay. Stop your fucking shit, dude. Oh my god. God, that was not worth it. I mean, cool Legion caliber. Awesome. But holy fuck a moly. That guy was terrifying. Repair our weapon again. would like a stargazer right about now. The only reason I have the carcass fluid on is because I feel like we're going to be fighting the fox soon. Her brother was talking about not letting us get to her. So, yeah. I have a good feeling we're going to be coming up against her soon. Ish. Jesus, how long is this elevator? Uh, I was like, man, we don't even have a stargazer. All right, let's rest at this stargazer. And then what we're going to do 
is before fighting this boss, because obviously this is a boss, we're going to end the video and when we come back, we will start off with a boss fight. Maybe. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Ah, uh, let's go back to Hotel Crot real quick. I always welcome friends. Who? how long do you think it would take me to decipher it? Time me. Ecco, all done and all yours. For a layman, it would have been a tough nut to crack, even for a replica. Child's play for me, of course. I bet you could make a fortune by solving the code behind it all. But why the Grand Covenant, I wonder? Uh, apologies, my friend. I, I became lost in thought. Please take it. I think we have to use the whistle over there. And that looks like over by the... Uh, Parade Puppet Master. So, let's go upstairs, put in some of our quartz. Also, I did get a trophy on the quartz, putting that stuff in. I did some of that off uh, screen, so I want to apologize for that. You know what? I want to work on Oh, we could have got an amulet slot over here too. I didn't even realize that. We'll put that in. Yep, we want that as well. Add a Fable Arts. Let's see. Get that. And then we have one more. All right. I think the next one we'll go for is right over here. If we get enough quartz to be able to do that. So what we'll do is we will end the video up here. And then when we come back, we will go find the, um, whatever it is, the, the thing that Vanini does, deciphers. Um, we'll go find that. I think, we, I think I know where it's at. I'll go scope it out ahead of time. And I think we need to use the whistle. At least that's what it looked like. And then we'll go fight a boss. All right, everybody. With all that being said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so much for stopping by. It really does mean a lot to me.
Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.